again. To do that with here, you're going to need to to get to your goal, you're going to need 100 kids paying 100 a month, which is possible. There's coaches right now who I'm, I'm helping that are doing that. Mm -hmm. But again, when you have that many clients, you need a team. You need people that are running your social media. You need someone who's collecting the money. You need, you need staff. I mean, unless you have 10 different sessions and you're training 10 kids at once, which is possible. You can have two sessions a day, Monday through Friday. Like that's, that's very, very possible. But this is a lot easier to get to mm -hmm. when we have also this in place. Like this number here is drastically easier to get to when we have a higher price program that's it's the most baller thing. It's like, it, it should be the point where if I called some basketball coaches in Houston and I was like, hey, do you know this guy, Eric? He's a basketball coach. And they're like, yeah, that dude is untouchable. That's what I would want any of your competitors to think. Mm -hmm. Because you have something that someone could try to duplicate, but they'll never be able to do. Right? Does that make sense? So. Again, this number right here, like, it could be that. It could be more than that. And how do I know that? Because I've personally done that. And coaches that are in our program are personally doing this. Like, they, they are posting all the time, hey, I signed up a new player in my 400 or $500 a month program. This... It's, it's a lot closer than you think it is. But no, the thing is, no one knows about it. So we have to design the program and then set it up to where it's the most quality thing. And it's exclusive. I mean, think about it. Like, when you went to play NBA, like, I can't try out for the NBA. Like, Think about me trying to go up for a layup and LeBron running me down, swatting me. Like, I'm not good enough to play in the NBA. It's an exclusive group of basketball players, and only those who are good enough get in. Right. And it's like that with college. It's like that in a high school team. It's like that with the AAU team. Can't. And this is how we have to think, though. Not everybody, and we have to think this way, not everybody can come in here. It's not for everybody. That is though. People are willing to invest money if they can have a better experience. And it's the same thing with kids. The kids are not the ones who are paying, the parents are. But when the parents pay for a better experience, it's priceless. They're willing to invest more. And this, I, I always tell coaches this, it gets them to stretch what they're offering when they realize, well, parents can invest more. And when that happens, you end up working less and making more money, All right? Because I've seen too many coaches, they'll, they'll offer something that is affordable for everyone, and the only way they can make more money is by working more hours. Right. 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 And that's where everyone gets burned out. I got burned out doing that. I used to work 37 sessions a week. Right now you're doing, like, what, 12 sessions a week? Or how many hours? You said Monday through Thursday. I only do three hours a day. Yeah, so I was doing like three times the amount of training that you were doing. And it's outside. I wasn't in a gym. Outside <laughs> here in San Antonio. Yeah, sweating, mosquitoes, like running the hamster wheel doing that. And financially, it's doing great. But when, when Sunday came around, I'm tired, dead. I don't even want to look at the soccer ball. And then I didn't have a break because I worked every day. If you have these offers set up, I mean, you could have a program that's $1,000 a month if you wanted. Right. There, there's no one stopping you that's doing that other than you telling yourself that you're either not worth that much or you thinking that parents want to invest that. And I can tell you for, you know, just facts, parents are willing to invest into something that's going to solve their kid's problem.
So the bigger the problem you solve, the more money you make. Like, and that's where a lot of basketball trainers get wrong. They're like, well, I'm gonna be like the skills development coach. And all they do is they focus on, at the session, kids come, they do crossovers for an hour. And then like after that's done, they don't even see or talk to the kids. They don't even care about their clients. They just show up and they, they try to run the system of coaching. And those dudes, two, three years from now, are not going to be around. And a lot of those guys are on Instagram. Like, they won't be around. Because they don't focus on what are the most painful points these kids are struggling with and addressing those. And that's where, like, when you're a mentor to kids, which I know you are, mm-hmm. like, your value as a human being and as a coach and as a business owner goes up. Parents will meet you there. Right. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. All right. And it's the thing is, I can say it all day long, but you, when you go home, you have to truly believe. Like, whether you like him or hate him, like with Conor McGregor, like when that dude walks out, he knows he's the best. Right. There's no one touching him, even though he just lost. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, he knows he has that confidence up here. Like, he can do whatever he wants. He can say whatever he wants. People will like him or hate him. Right. And you don't have to be buddies with all the parents in, in your area. If people don't like you, great. All you should care about is your customers. Like, I can guarantee you, if you talk to everyone in my city, a high population of those who never got into my program probably don't like me. Mm. I don't freaking care. Right. I, I care about the kids. Yeah. I care about the kids who I'm helping. Right. Those are, that's my priority. I could care less about what anyone else can think. Yeah. I hear like coaches talk ab- about this all the time. Well, I, I'm going to assign kids homework to do on their own, but it's not a consistent thing. There's no accountability. Coaches say that just to try to make themselves look good. It's not a real thing. And I, and I know this, mm-hmm. I know, but if we talk about homework, I talk about homework with intent. So here's a great example. Let's say you have a session and it's focused on free throws. All right, I'm just going to use this example. And you let the kids know between today and next time I see you, you need to make this many free throws. For you, there's really no way to track that, right? If you just tell them, hey, like, you need to go make this many. Every kid's going to come back and lie and be like, oh, yeah, I yeah. shot 500 free throws, <laughs> right? No one's going to actually, like, follow through. So how can we get them to follow through? Well, like, I'm just going to make this number two, right? You could have a Facebook group that's free, right? It's only for your members. And they're required to film a video of them doing the homework. And they post it to your Facebook group. Nice, nice. Wow. And you're like, you show up to the next session. Hey, Johnny, dude, awesome. I saw your video. Good job. You actually did your homework. And guess what? When Johnny shows up to the next session, and y'all are practicing free throws again, he's better. So it's keeping players more accountable. Right? So homework with intent is here's what we're doing. Here's how to do it. You're going to write it down. You're going to take a video of me showing you what the homework is if you have to. It's every kid leaves the gym knowing exactly what they're doing. It's not this like, uh, well, I'm going to go do this for five minutes or I'm going to like just lie about it. Mm-hmm. And, and it's explaining that to the parents and showing them before they even join your program. It's Miss Jones, is your son accountable? Will he follow through with everything I tell him to do? And if they're like, well, like, He's pretty lazy in school. Click. Mm. Don't need to work with him. It's really hard to change a kid if he's really stubborn before he, like, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm all for kids changing. If he's already locked in. Yeah. If he's locked in, he's not doing this. So that means he doesn't get the most out of your program, which means he's probably getting like 10% 10% of the rules. I was going to say 15, 20%. Yeah, that, that he could be getting. Right. Right? So the Facebook group can be set up where they're posting their homework. 
they are doing it. And you can go on every Sunday and you can record 52 videos throughout the year. You do this in five hours. You, rec you could record, hey guys, here's this week's homework. Boom, boom, boom. Everyone watches it every Sunday night. Mm. It's all automated. Everybody who joins your program, they're in your Facebook group. They all get access to that. <laughs> only them get, only they get access to that. Mm -hmm. And at that point, your homework that has intent, now there's a system. And when the system's set up, like you just monitor it. All right, so again, that's for, this is like, these two kind of go hand in hand. Okay. But this is very simple to do if you are very organized with, here's what we're doing, here's what everybody needs to focus on. And the homework doesn't have to be all basketball based. It, it could be like goal setting. It could be working on their mindset. It could be like keeping track of, of what are they eating throughout the week. Like the, you could have so many different things that literally have nothing to do with basketball mm -hmm. that are part of this. That's, that's really the, I mean, if you think about it, is anyone training with you just to get better at basketball? Like, is that the only reason? No, I don't think no so. it's not. If they wanted to do that, if they only wanted, if they, if they really want to get better at basketball and that's it, just go to YouTube, find 5,000 different trainers there. Like, sure. they're not, they're there for more than just training. Right. Does that so, make sense? Uh, that makes sense. That makes clear. So you can have the Facebook group set up. I mean, I could go into, I'm going to be teaching a course on how to do this because like, if that's locked in, you can set up a system and you can create this for, for kids that don't even live in your city. They could be in Georgia. They could be in Cali. Like that's something you, anybody can do and it's free but it's just a matter of being organized with it, yeah. all right? Another thing you can add value, and again, this is like for exclusive clients. You can have this set up, um, it's called game analysis. And I know right now, you're probably already doing this. You're probably like going to watch kids play sometimes, you're there, you're available, you're seeing what they need more help with. Mm -hmm. That's great, but this, can be done where it's like, Ms. Jones, once every six weeks or once every eight weeks or once every season, I'm gonna to come to a game and I'm going to analyze exactly what your son is doing. So I know when he's in our program, I know how he can get the most out of it and I know how he can get to the next level. This way it's like, you're actually watching and you're only there watching him. You're not there talking to any of the parents. You're like right, right. locked in. Exclusively on him. Yeah. Think about how valuable that is. Right, right. I have coaches right now who, who have this as a service and they're charging at minimum 250 some people, not, I'm not saying everyone, some people are charging $250 just to do this, to go watch a game. Wow. And they're not just there watching, they're there watching, taking notes, writing a report. That's a business. Evaluating. That, that is a business.